This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 6 in high definition. Good evening. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. A developing story tonight, a historic day for farm workers at Garawan Farming. Ballots cast in 2013 to end representation from the United Farm Workers Union have been counted. Garawan and union position groups or union opposition groups have been fighting to have those votes counted for five years. And the count comes after protests and legal wrangling. The results could mean some trouble for the UFW. CBS 47's Angelica Leilani joins us live in downtown Fresno where the vote for no union won by a landslide. Angelica. Well, that's right. This is where that historic moment all went down. Now there were a total of 1,948 voters of that 197 voted to keep the union, but 1,098 voted to decertify. And those workers tell me that this was a long time coming. Farm workers, you have claimed a landslide. Hundreds of Gurwan farm workers say they finally got their victory they fought years for. We've been suffering like five years ago, and, and, and today is like we're relaxing now. In November of 2013, the Gurwan farm workers wanted to decertify themselves from the United Farm Workers. They say the UFW had been collecting dues but had been missing in action for years, not representing the interest of workers. So we think that it's not fair to give our money away without asking us if we want to be represent by a union or not. So that, that was all. That was the beginning. It took six months of hearings that produced 20,000 pages of testimony from 130 witnesses to win the right to vote in 2013. But the ALRB impounded those ballots amid charges that the election was tainted by the undue influence from Gurwan. And when the votes were finally cast, court action kept them under lock and key until today. Finally, the state Supreme Court ruled the votes should be counted and today that became a reality. The UFW unhappy with the process saying Gurwan is corrupt. You know, this is a mockery of the democratic process because the fact is that Garawan farming has been found guilty repeatedly of violating the law before the election to obtain this election. But Gurwan's attorney says it was the other way around. It was actually full of the illegal activity by the ALRB and the UFW working together. But Assemblyman Jim Patterson says today's victory is sending a message. I think it is a significant uh, uh, accomplishment for the, the farm workers. And the UFW says the fight is not over. From the total number of voters that I mentioned earlier, 635 voters' ballots were challenged. 18 votes were voided. Now they say that they are figuring out their next move. Reporting live in downtown Fresno, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.